What is going on viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing one of these Carabao drinks, I think I said that correct, and this one is going to be on the Mixed Berry one. So I got this particular can out of Morrison's actually and it cost me 60p, which is actually a very good price for one of these Carabao drinks. So they're 330 milliliter can, because uh, if you find these in a random corner shop, they generally are a pound. Or if you go into like a BP M&S or something like that, they are generally more expensive, like one pound fifty upwards. So sixty p is actually quite quite good for this for this drink. So let's see if it tastes as good as it does on the price. So I give you guys a four three sixty of the can. So we have a I guess a fairly simple can design here. We have the front of the can repeated twice. We have the ingredients and stuff on the bag with a purple background and most of the writing being white. Uh, but said the front of the can is repeated twice and then behind that we have this kind of so the can has got this nice shiny reflective kind of purpley type color going on there obviously to represent berries so it does look really nice and shiny and nice in terms of the color definitely it's a nice reddish purpley color but yeah we got the uh, i guess the carabao ball himself or ox or whatever that is and then we have uh, what does that say there so energy drink and then we have the mixed berry and only 60 three calories per can and then i think they're sponsored by the carabao yeah carabao cup something to do with football something like that so uh football tickets carabao energy.co.uk so something to do with football i don't like football so i really don't care or not interested but yeah that's the front of the can repeated twice around the top like i say we just have that football stuff about the website so on the back let's have a closer read of the back so Car carabao is a great tasting sparkling mixed berry flavored energy drink with two in caffeine b vitamins with sugar and sweeteners so yes uh, so caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml so it's bang on the average of 32 so as it is half sugar and the sugar content is 4.5 grams per 100 ml so it's half of the sugar content to what the average used to be the average used to be 10 grams but with the sugar tax that's all now been halved to around five and this one's 4.5 uh, in the actual ingredients, what sweeteners do we have, uh, if any? We have sweeteners, we have aspartame and we have stevia glucosides. Again, I think I say these words, correct, but so yeah, we have the aspartame, but oh well. Uh, and then vitamins, we have niacin, panophenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12, which are our usual and favourite vitamins. Apart from that, there was not much else interesting on the can, apart from this is a product of Thailand, so the Carabao brand is a thailand drink imported by uh, intercar bayo in reading which is near london um yeah product thailand cool so also on the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything's all standard and silver including the pouring as well so it's nice and cold i have got a cup and let's get straight to it hopefully it won't explode over me so i'm guessing the color is going to be purple or red or something like that so Let's see. Don't explode. There we go. Nicely done. And it always is weird with these 330, 330 milliliter cans. It's such a weird, it's such a weird, it's in between the 500 and the 250 mils. It's such a weird, weird uh, milliliter to go for, isn't it? Oh my God. Okay, I was not expecting, okay. I was not expecting that colour to be as light as I was expecting it to be. Tons and tons of foam on the top there. Taking quite a while to go. Yeah, taking quite a while to go on the top. So tons and tons of foam. Not too many bubbles on the side, to be fair, on this one. But yeah, loads of foam. But that colour, I was not expecting that whatsoever. That is way, way lighter than I was expecting. I, was, I guess probably the can has tricked me because the can's kind of a really nice deep dark purple red. It's probably tricking me, so I was expecting the drink to be a nice, really deep kind of red purple. But no, that's uh, really, I get it, not off putting, but really, yeah, it's uh, way, way, way lighter. Almost, I say it's not almost clear, but it's just a lot lighter than I was expecting. But yeah, the colour is red, but just very, very light, very faint. And it is see through, hello. But um, yeah, that was weird. So let's give it a closer smell now and see what it smells like. Oh, oh, that stings. 
Oh, that absolutely stinks. Just, oh, I hope this isn't going to taste nasty. I was looking forward to this. That stinks. Ugh. That actually smells like it's gone off. What's the date of it? It's got, it goes out of date like two years. 2020, 2022. That absolutely stinks. It smells like gone off. Ugh. That's vile. Ugh. That literally stinks of gone off like fruit juice or something. Oh, that reeks. Ugh. Okay, guys, nevertheless, let's hope it tastes better than it smells. So, let's try some. Hmm. Oh, what is this? This is weird. Oh, this is weird, man. What the hell is this? Ugh. Ugh. That is really weird, guys. Jesus. Oh, Christ. So, there's absolutely nothing like any normal mixed berry any drink. I was thinking of any of the brands on my wall up there. Oh, their mixed berries are nice. These are mixed berry flavours. That just tastes like... This tastes like it's trying to be too too real and too natural and it just has that horrible nasty taste and i've tasted this kind of taste over and over and over again with drinks that try to be healthy try to be good for you or this or that now i know this isn't appetizing as it's meant to be good for you or healthy for you i mean they're not good for you but you know it's like i guess they're trying to have some drinks advertise there they're better for you and neutral for you and not as bad and don't have sugar and don't have this this literally tastes like one of those drinks that tries to be healthy but tries to still be an energy drink it doesn't work it just doesn't work because the flavor on that is just nasty they've severely messed up that mixed berry flavor it's like i said it's like it's a completely it's like a gone off flavor of what they're trying to be and i, and I said it and i'll say it again just imagine i'm sure you guys have probably tried some sort of healthy energy drinks at some point in your life and they just have a weird taste, like they just taste nasty. And try and imagine that, but in this drink, you know, so I'm drinking it, and it literally tastes like a gone off fruit juice. That's what it tastes like. It's nasty. It tastes like it's gone off. It tastes it tastes nothing of mixed berries. It's oh, it's just nasty. Drink it, and it's gone off berry taste, horrible horrible like natural neutral flavor which is like a really really weak berry flavor again which is like really under sweetened and then the aftertaste as well is just ugh, like a horrible neutral aftertaste which again tastes like really really weak or gone off berry, like mixed berries drink ugh, it's just a horrible horrible drink ugh. let me try some out the can see if it uh see if it tastes any better and you know I thought in my head, as soon as I saw the colour, I knew it wasn't, like, super dark, like the other energy drinks. So I knew in my head it was going to be nasty, you see. And that's why I was surprised by the colour to it being light. Because, you know, if you take, again, one of the big brands, Relentless, Rockstar, Monster, something like that. When they make a mixed berry drink, energy drink, it's proper, it's nice. For example, take the x Blueberry, Pomegranate, Akai that mixed thing, it's nice. But yes, it might be fake and it might be artificial and it might be bad for you, but it tastes good. And that's all that matters at the end of the day because people enjoy these as a treat and you want it to be nice. And the fact this isn't even appetizing that it's trying to be healthy. I know it's got only 63 calories and this and that, but the fact it's got, you know, a spartame and this and that and still five grams of sugar per 100 mil, it really just doesn't do it any justice whatsoever. And it really is nasty. So I will try some a little bit more out of the can, but apart from that, the rest of that's going down the drain because that is horrible. Ah, yeah, it's disgusting. Oh, that is disgusting. Let's just push it off to the side there so you guys can't see it. So yeah, vile drink, like I said, mixed, like a really, really gone off mixed berry drink that has just gone out of date, disgusting. I could tell from the color that it's trying to be some neutral or healthier version. It just doesn't work, guys. You energy drink companies keep trying to make these drinks healthy and none of them taste good. Um, just stick to stick to what the big brands know best. 
But yeah, really disappointed in that, really disgusting. Gets a thumbs down for me. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Don't forget to subscribe for more drinks reviews as well. I'll see you later, guys.